welcome back to our channel. Today I am doing a like soft glam makeup tutorial on you, aren't I? Yep. And we are only going to be using five products. It's a bit of a challenge as well. It's going to be interesting to see how you get on with that, isn't it? Yep. So we are very excited. So, so let's <laughs> get started. Let's get on with the video. So what's the first one you're going to go for? So the first thing we are going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I like this one because it's so like nice and glowy and dewy. I'm going to do a Morphe brush. Close my eyes. Normally I put my foundation on with my finger sometimes, don't I? Do you? Why do you use a brush, Alice? I don't know, like I just like sometimes. I feel like it goes on better with a brush. You get more even coverage? Yeah. Okay. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out Lee, he's done. She can take a beat blender now just to go over like the the lines what the brush made, like the strokes. That's a soft blender. Yeah, I got it in my gloss box. What did you? And then I lost one of them, so then I took yours. <laughs> Why did you ask for it? Let's clarify that. I think it just feels really soft. My one's really hard. But I've given you the wrong one, obviously. <laughs> then we basically are now going to take the PS Pro Skin Tint Barrier. Is that the one from Primark? Yeah. From the PS range? I've got two Primark products today. Oh, good. I really like them. So, no, please, man. No, open your eye. Oh, it smells nice too. Didn't take a bit like that, as you can see. <laughs> Looks like a little elf. <laughs> I like looking like a little elf. And you just. Blend it out. Yeah, with my beef blender. So I just dab on a bit. I find that this also blends up really well, so that's why I'm using it. I really want to get my hands on though. The Charlotte Tilbury. I think they're Hollywood ones. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> and they're like, um, like you can get a contour one, you can get a so you can get like a highlight. They're actual like products. Oh, okay. Creams. And then we have, and now we're going to be taking a cream bronzer, and this is the Bronze Whip Primark one. So, would you say the best thing you can do is you is the base, isn't it? Yeah. And after that, it's just biscuit on the gravy. <laughs> yeah. So, now I'm just going to be taking my pinky and just rubbing it all in. I meant gravy on the biscuit. Take about that much on each side. So about three stripes. Well, it's quite smooth that cream, isn't it? Well, I like it. It is blending so well. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender again. This, this base is like one of the best bases I've ever done. Oh. Oh, it does look nice, Alice. Oh, you can do my makeup every morning. I feel, I feel like they, this bronzer, the only problem I have with it is that it's more like a cream contour and bronzer. I still love it. You can do my makeup every morning. <laughs> so now we're going to go in liquid highlighter. And this is the L'Oreal Glow More one. I love this one. I only recently purchased it but I really like it. So I'm just going to squat like a little like that. Smile. Open your eye. Like that. I'm just going to dab in it on. Let me zoom in close up. I love those ones, the liquid ones. They're really nice, aren't they? Yeah, I really like, used to don't I liquid highlighter because I felt like it didn't really go in with the makeup. But that's only because I've probably like powdered before and it made like a paste on my face. So this time you've more used liquid product, all liquid products, haven't you? Yeah, because I want it to be like super 
doing, Glabby? I have to close my eyes when you're patting. Blending. You're not patting. Okay. And there is the base done. Wow, you look really nice. That's really nice, Alice. You look so own things, but... <laughs> yeah. So now, now for our last step, we are going on to eyeshadow. Oh, I love eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 39L palette. And this is the light one. I love that palette. You say, that's why I'm using it. But I'm firstly going to take a Morphe eyeshadow brush and this is the M456 brush and we are just a light brown shade I'm just going to be popping this all over the eye crease you can create really nice looks just with a few products can't you really yeah don't have to pay a fortune to get a nice look no no but you can use any like any like like version of the product if you know what I mean because you've mixed stuff from Pr from Morphe to, Pri to Primark so yeah you have a nice little taste natural wipe I wanted to do natural because I know no one really likes like some people don't like just to go full on bright colours and like that so just for all of you who don't like it here this is for you for people who want a more natural look this is for them yeah. isn't it and if you haven't got a lot of time to like do loads of different product like if you just want to get up in the morning yeah. and just put something quick on now i'm just going to taking this brush and i'm just taking the shade of cup and yeah i'm just tapping it because a lot of product got one on don't want too much product i think i love more products for this so like Product like pigmented. They really stand out, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's what pigmented means. Would you say your favourite more your favourite brand was Morphe? Or Charlotte Tilbury or Too Faced or Mac? <laughs> I like Bougie. Me too. I do love drugstore products as well. Yeah, because you can get some really good stuff on drug in drugstore products, can't you? Mm-hmm. Most of my makeup collection is drugstore. And I use it near enough every day. And you get some really nice looks. No, I would say Morphe is a mix between both, you know? Yeah, me too. Because I didn't say it's exactly high end, but then it's not exactly like Drugstore. Yeah, it's a, mi a nice mix in the middle, isn't mm -hmm. it? So there you've got a nice little little eye. That looks really nice, Alice. Very natural. And then now we are going on to like a little, like not cut crease, but like a little shimmer shade. So we are going to be using the NYX Proof It Eye Primer. You don't have to go with this step, but I would be quite nice. More like six products, but like we'll say it's five. And I'm just applying this directly on there and leave your eye closed because so it's five to get that look and it's six just to go one step further yeah but really it's not that like you don't need this but I just feel like it's a good essential and I like primer base and this is the next one yeah yeah, proof it. I'd like you to do a look for me on using my Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, okay. Because I have a Jaclyn Hill palette and I've had it for right. Christmas and I get a bit overwhelmed because there's quite a, quite a lot of, of colours on there. Now we're going to take the shade Magic Hour. That's like almost all to get I find. Just give it the finishing touch. It's made my eyes really blue, Alice. I see you cheeking in like a cheeky little look. <laughs> you got it down again. And then look, we have the final look. That looks really lovely. I really like that, Alice. So 
I used them two shades, that one and that one. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you really enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like and subscribe to receive. And also turn the post notification bell on because you can receive when we upload a video. And thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.